In this lesson, we're going to look at how to find one of the limits, in this particular case, the upper limit of integration. We need to be told what the answer to the integration comes to, and so in this case, the integral between 0 and m of x cubed dx with respect to x is equal to 4. So to do this calculation, we just do the integration as normal. So you integrate x cubed, add 1 to the power and divide by that new power, so we get a quarter x to the power 4. And your limits are 0 and m, and this still comes to 4. So then we can put our upper limit in first, and then subtract our lower limit. So a quarter m to the power 4, take away a quarter 0 to the power 4 is equal to 4. So really what we're trying to do here is set an equation up that we can solve. Now all of this bit here comes to 0, so really a quarter m to the power 4 is equal to 4. To get rid of the quarter here, times both sides by 4, so you're going to get m to the power 4 is equal to 16. Therefore m is equal to plus or minus 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 makes 16. And negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 also equals 16. However, the question asks, find the positive value of m. A wee statement, the positive value of m is therefore 2. Another example here, same idea as before. You integrate first and then substitute your values in your m and your 1. So if we integrate 1 plus 2x with respect to x, 1 becomes x. And this is really to the power of 1, so you add 1 to the power, which is 2, and divide, so that will become x squared. And your limits are 1 and m, and that comes to 10. So put your m into both bits, do your subtract, and then put 1 into both parts here. That's going to look like this. So, m plus m squared take away 2 equals 10. What we have now is we have a quadratic, and in order to solve a quadratic equation, you let it equal 0 and then factorise. So we need to get this 10 over here, so we subtract 10 from both sides to leave us with m squared plus m, take away 12 equals 0. Factorise into double brackets, this is a trinomial. So we're looking for factors of 12 that can give us a 1 in the middle. So the factors of 12 are 6 and 2, 12 and 1, and 3 and 4. The 3 and the 4 will give us the the one in the middle. So m plus 4, m take away 3 equals 0. This bit will give us 4m, and I take away 3m here, will give us the m here. So m can be negative 4 or 3. But just as before, We're looking for the positive value of m, which is therefore 3. 